Hell yeah. Time to tear it apart. Put my box on. Let's go. New seat too. No rips. Let's go. What's up guys? So today I went and bought myself some new toys. Got this little case right here for the tour pack. We're gonna pull the bags off and we're gonna install it. So let's see how this goes. So I got the seat off. We gotta open up your bags. We got two nuts right here on each side. Those other boxes still inside? Yeah. I'm gonna grab them. One bag off. Let's get to the next one. Tires are too big. to do is get to the shock bolts because I believe the, the rack bolts onto the shock and then to right here and then once we get all that bolted down and put together we can put this back together I'm sure there's a long way to I'm just dropping all my hardware and everything down inside the bag. I know where it's at and I don't have to look for it when it comes time to put back on. almost out <clears throat> and then we can start working on the shock and the back bar Let's see if this goes smoothly or not I 
Yeah, it looks like that bag was broken anyway. So I'm gonna put a giant washer on it to make this bag stay on. All right, my little, my little kit panel. Oh, I forgot I need to fix this. This is broke. Broke off all the little tabs, so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna glue that back on. Looks like it just pops in there, so it should be fairly easy to take off. Looks like it was already glued at some point. So we'll just glue it up. So now what we're looking at is a bolt here, bolt here, and a shock bolt right here. Might actually have to jack this bike up to do this. Yep. All right, so we went ahead and jacked the bike up off the ground. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with these bolts right here. Try to get this piece off and then get the other, then get the shocks off and then see where we're at from there. Try to see if there's anything else I need to look or do. Um, pretty bolted on pretty good. Let me see. So it's gonna look like it's two bolts down here, two bolts up here. So it's a total of four bolts. Might be the whole fender bracket comes off too, almost, it looks like. Have. Yes, it does have all the bolts, the four bolts that I need, but one thing I'm not seeing on this is the bolt to mount this bracket to hold my bags on. That's, oh no, okay, I can just use this whole bracket. All right, we're good. So I have the brackets and everything. We're good. Figure out which one of these sockets I need down here. Let me get this thing going. bracket came loose we're gonna hold it right there try not to lose the spacers that are going on in there Now we got our shocks, I believe. Let's double check while we're right here. So these two go back here. This and these go down to where the shock mounts. These are bent, I'm gonna have to straighten them. These are gonna go in perfectly. Two where the shock goes. I think it's on the inside of the shock. Actually, okay, there, yeah, but that's perfect on the shocks. So, let's get the shocks off. We'll make it work one way or another. Because I don't really see another way. 
for a bolt. Maybe under this cover there's a hole, but I'm thinking it goes straight to the shots. So we'll clear it up. You know, just doing it the right way, right in front of the front door so nobody can walk or do anything. <laughs> Let's go. Time to work on a Harley today. Wee. Hey, we got that off. Let's see if we can get this out this way. Let's see. We'll go around that one. See if we can get around this one. That'll be easier. Find some way to tie this out with a little bit more paint. Yep, we're moving. Maybe get it straight. Doesn't look very straight. There we go. I have another issue with that. 
Well, we ran into a little bit of a fitment issue with this big bolt that started in right there. That this piece actually bolt, bolt goes through here to it. So these nuts right here are hitting that and I can't get around them. So I bought this kit. I don't know what year bike it came off of or what it went to, but it's pretty, pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these nuts off and I'm gonna make it fit either way. It'll be held on with these four bolts. Should be all right. We'll see how it works. We'll get it together so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these off check fitment after that all right so there's that it's bolted on shocks are back on i didn't realize the camera died but two bolts here two bolts there each side it's on now we got all the bolts for the top those goes down through the top of the box i'll show you that in a minute all right so we got there shocks are back on have it bolted down right now we're gonna gather my bolts for the the bags and we're gonna get the bags going back together so so it bolts here just so you know you can see the bolts there there these four right here to the shock bracket the shocks bolted back on so how this thing bolts down is inside through the top it's got four bolts in here that bolt it down so you got that once you get those four, bol four bolts on you're good to go and then you have your tour pack on the bike yeah, my lady's gonna be a lot more comfortable riding up against that rather than nothing so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get my bags put back on real quick and i'll show you guys the finished product and there you go i got a mess to clean up but the box is officially mounted brake lights not hooked up i haven't got that far yet but hold on <laughs> oh that felt good anyways there it is i gotta wash it now it's all dirty but the whole box is mounted now and i got my speaker boxes right there that go on the front right here so whenever i get my stereo finished hooking up everything on that i'm just glad now uh my girl will be more comfortable when we ride she'll have this whole backrest to lean on rather than nothing it's gonna be way more comfortable for her and we're good to go so I hope you guys have fun watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.